She is the most amazing, gentle, beautiful person who goes out to find the best way to make things happen for you every year. So do me a favor. Do me one big favor. And let's give one big one for Mila! Come on! Don't you forget it. Don't you ever forget it. This kind of stuff is dedicated to Mila. Thank you very much. And good night. Please welcome the founder of the Cannabis Cup, longtime editor and now creative director of Life Times, Stephen Hager, to present the Freedom Fighter of the Year Award. Hi everybody, you having a good time? Um, around the same year that I was inspired to create the Cannabis Cup, I created a group of hemp activists called the Freedom Fighters because I'd met Jack Herrera and read a manuscript called The Emperor Wears No Clothes before it was published. Jack was one of the most inspiring people I ever met and I was convinced that once the American people knew the truth about the uh, economic benefits of this plant, that it would soon be legal. I don't know if you realize this, but just recently Jack suffered his second heart attack and was in a coma for about two weeks. And right before Jack had his heart attack, he called me on the phone. And he said that I needed to go do a story about Rick Simpson. Now I had heard about this guy in Canada who said he was curing uh, cancer with hash oil. But I didn't believe the story. But Jack called me, he said to me, Steve, the human evidence is out there. Marijuana fights cancer. And what, what Rick Simpson has done that is so important is, is that he's shown us that to get the full medicinal impact of this plant, you cannot smoke it. You must eat a lot of cannabinoids. And the easiest way to do that is to make oil and eat the oil. If you are seriously ill, you need to eat about a gram a day for 60 days. But when you're done, 70% of the cancer patients are cancer free. Rick started giving away oil for free, growing it in his backyard. Hundreds of patients he treated for free. So the Canadian government arrested Rick Simpson, convicted him of being a drug dealer, and while he's at the Cannabis Cup now, just now, they have raided his property for the third time and are prepared to arrest Rick again when he returns to Canada. It is unconscionable to treat a saint in this manner. Rick Simpson is the Freedom Fighter of the Year. Rick. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And look, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here at the Cup. Uh, I've met so many wonderful people. The, the seed companies, you know, DNA, uh, DNA seeds, uh, TH seeds, and all the rest of the guys, and and, and, and Orion from Greenhouse, he, I mean, he brought me here. And uh, I'll tell you right now, you haven't lived unless you've been on the back of a scooter with Orion at the wheel. That's a dangerous experience. <laughs> but, <laughs> it was thrilling, the whole trip has been thrilling, and, you know, what a great event. But unfortunately, the way it stands right now, you see, two years ago, in, in November 30th, on my 58th birthday, they arrested me and they put me in jail for four days without my medicine. And if I go that length of time, I mean, if you had seen me, 
at the end of the four days, of course, the jail is a torture house. It's like it's so hot you can't sleep. My blood pressure was all out of whack. I mean, I, I looked at, in pretty bad shape after four days. So if I go back to Canada, the first thing, I mean, I've had three charges since 2005. So if I go back, I'll be arrested, or I'll be charged, or put in jail, and probably denied bail. And, and it, that's about all it'll take, because it takes months for, you know, to get into the court system. So, I mean, that, that would kill me. So the only thing I can do is become an exile and seek political refuge in Europe. And that's what I plan to do. I can give you hell from here just as easy as I can for over the, from over there. But the problem here is, folks, there's people back in Canada that are, you know, they're depending on me to save their lives and give them advice. And I can no longer do that now. But so if anyone out there has cancer or a serious illness, go to our website, phoenixtears.ca, and read and look into the recipe. Make the medicine for your loved ones. It can save their life. It can, it can change people's lives. So for God's sakes, make it. And uh, if anybody out there has a couple bucks to send our way, Phoenix Tears, we sure appreciate it because uh, I don't know what the rest of Europe is like, but Amsterdam is quite expensive. But a wonderful city. Thank you very much, folks. Rick Simpson, Freedom Fighter of the Year. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, original pianist for the Grateful Dead, Mr. Tom Constantine. Thank you. 